Welcome to the Pharmacy Channel, I'm Dr. Ihabi Zayad, and in today's session, we will be exploring how artificial intelligence is transforming the pharmaceutical industry. Today, we will dive into the fascinating world where cutting-edge technology meets life-saving medicines. So let's get started. Before getting into the details, please consider subscribing and enable the notification button to stay updated once a new content is published on the channel. Artificial intelligence, particularly machine learning and deep learning, has emerged as a transformation force in the pharmaceutical industry. Far from being immediate, mere buzzword, AI represent a paradigm shift in how we approach drug discovery, offering powerful tools and methodologies to tackle some of the most pressing challenges in the field. AI is changing how we discover new drugs in many ways. Here are some key AI technologies making big difference. You may have heard about deep learning. So imagine a super smart computer brain that works a bit like ours. It's really good at spotting tricky patterns in huge piles of biological data. Things that might be too complicated for us to see on our own. This computer brain called deep learning which gobbles up tons of information and finds cool connection that normal methods might miss. There is another technology called Natural Language Processing, or NLP. Think of it like a super smart reader and writer. It's like having a brainy body who can understand, make sense of, and even write human-like text. In the world of finding new medicines, this tech is a real game changer, because this tireless research assistant can speed read through mountains of science papers, research reports, and patent documents. And this human helper spots important info and call new ideas that may take humans ages to find. It's like like having a highlights reel of the latest and the greatest in science helping researchers stay on the top of new discoveries and connect the dots in way that might not have thought of before. Another important technology is the reinforcement learning. In this technology, imagine that you have a curious robot playing a video game of create the perfect medicine. It starts off not knowing much, but it learns by trying things out and seeing what works best. Every time it makes a good move, it gets a virtual high five. And when it messes up, it learns not to do that again. In the world of making a new medicine, this smart robot-like program tinkers with the building blocks of drugs. Or in a more scientific phrase, it optimizes the molecular structure and fine-tune them. It's always trying to level up making the medicine work better and be safer and be easier for your body to use. Having that being said, we can also think of AI learning approach in two different ways. It's like you are solving a puzzle. In one way, it's like having a teacher who shows you what the finished puzzle should look like. That's what's called supervised learning. And here the AI knows what answer it is aiming for. Or in other words, the algorithm is trained on a label data set where the desired output is already known. The other way is like dumping out all the puzzle pieces and figuring out how they fit together without seeing the picture on the box. That's what's called unsupervised learning. The AI finds pattern and groups things together on its own. And this approach is often used in exploratory data analysis and can be useful for discovering hidden structures or clusters within a data set. Now here is the exciting part. AI isn't just a cool idea in medicine making. It becomes a big deal. According to a comprehensive report by Deep Pharma Intelligence, a leading industry analysis firm, it shows that more and more drug companies are using AI to help find the new treatment faster and cheap. The report talks about which companies are doing this and how much money they are getting from investors and what new discovery they are looking for. On December 2022, the total investment in AI in drug development companies reached almost $25 billion. And we may discuss this report in a separate video to highlight its important insights. So why is this so important? Well, it means that more and more people believe AI can help make new medicines faster, cheaper, and better than before. It's like having a super smart assistant that can do in days what might take humans years. And this could mean new treatments for diseases get to people who need them much quicker. So let's talk about how AI is like a super smart detective in the world of medicines making. So here is some important technologies and use cases. finding the right targets or what's called target identification. So imagine you are trying to fix a complicated machine, but you don't know which part is broken. That's kind of like what scientists face when they are trying to cure a disease. But now they have an AI helper that's like a master mechanic. This AI can look at tons of information about our bodies, our genes, proteins, and all the tiny chemical reactions happening inside us and their relationship to drug response or disease progression. It's too good at spotting patterns that it can figure out which part 
part of our body machine needs fixing way faster than humans could do on their own. Here is a cool real life example. There is this company called Benevolent AI. They used their super smart AI to look at loads of existing medicines and how they interact with our bodies. And guess what? They found that a medicine usually used for rheumatoid arthritis called paracetinib might actually help fight COVID-19. It's like finding out your screwdriver can also open a can. A totally new use for something we already have. The best part, when doctors tested this idea in the real world through clinical trials, it worked. They gave this medicine to people with COVID-19 and it really helped them get better. These trials, as reported by Richardson in the famous journal Vaccines in 2022, it confirmed the efficacy of paracetinib in treating COVID-19 patients. It's like AI pointed to a haystack and said the needle is there and it was right. This shows how AI isn't just playing around with numbers, it's helping find real ways to make people healthier, faster than ever before. The second use case is de novo drug design, where the AI is becoming a super creative inventor. AI has transformed the process of generating novel molecular structures with desired properties, opening up new possibilities in drug design. So imagine you are trying to build the perfect Lego spaceship, but instead of using existing Lego pieces, you could design and create brand new pieces that fit together exactly how you want. So virtual screening leverages AI to efficiently screen vast chemical libraries, predicting by affinities and helping researchers prioritize compounds for experimental testing. A groundbreaking example of this technology in action is Accenture AI, which designed a drug for obsessive compulsive disorder, which made history by entering clinical trials in 2020. This was a huge deal because it was the first time ever that a medicine invented by AI made it this far. In another study published in Nature Biotechnology in 2019, in Silico Medicine leveraged their AI-driven drug discovery platform to come up with a design for a new medicine to help people with a tough lung disease called idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Their system rapidly designed, synthesized, and validated a promising drug in just two months, which is a remarkable achievement compared to the industry standard of three to five years. Another example here where the folks at Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Computer Science, and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory built a super smart AI that looked through tons of chemical compounds and spotted something special, a compound called halicine. This halicine turned out to be a super powerful new antibiotic against a drug resistant bacteria. The coolest part is that regular scientists had looked at halicine before and didn't realize how special it was. Why is this such a big deal? Because our usual weapons antibiotic aren't working as well anymore. So finding new weapons like halicine is super important to keep everyone safe and healthy. And this discovery was reported by Stokes in Cell in 2020. And of course there is still lots more testing to be done before anyone can take these medicines. But it's a super exciting start and shows how amazing AI can be at helping us to solve tough health problems faster than ever before. It can zoom right to where we need to go, saving tons of time and money. The third use case is production of drug protein interactions. So structure activity relationship modeling uses AI to establish a connection between the chemical structures and the biological activity. It's like you are trying to find the perfect key for really complicated lock. That's kind of what scientists do when they are trying to make new medications. They need to find the chemicals or the key that fit perfectly with proteins in our body, which are the lock. And it gets even cooler when this amazing AI called AlphaFold, made by a company called DeepMind, it's like the world champion of protein puzzle solving. And as you see, proteins are like tiny, super complicated 3D puzzles in our bodies. And scientists used to spend years trying to figure out what these puzzles look like when they are solved. But with AlphaFold, it can solve these puzzles in no time. And this outstanding technology, as detailed by Jumper in Nature in 2021, employs sophisticated deep learning algorithm to accurately predict the three-dimensional structure of proteins from their amino acid sequences. The fourth use case is repurposing existing drug. So what is meant by repurposing? It means that you are trying to identify new application for existing drugs. And here the AI is acting like a treasure hunter looking for hidden gems in medicines we already have. So by making advantage of sophisticated algorithms, AI can analyze the molecular structures of non-compounds and compare them against a vast array of disease targets, uncovering potential therapeutic applications that may have been overlooked through traditional methods. For example, a company called Atomwise 
eyes used their AI powered virtual screening technology, which is called AtomNet technology, to look at lots of medicines we already used for other diseases. They were trying to find something that might work against Ebola, a really deadly disease. So, by analyzing millions of compounds and their potential interaction with Ebola virus proteins, AtomWise AI system was able to pinpoint the promising drug candidates that could potentially inhibit viral replication. And this is super exciting because it means we might be able to find new uses for medicines much faster and cheaper than making brand new ones from scratch. Predictive toxicology is the fifth use case we have here. So AI acts like a super smart safety inspector for new medicines. It's like a robot that could taste test your cooking and tell you if any of the ingredients might make people sick without anyone actually having to eat that food. And that's kind of what AI does with new drugs. So by looking at the chemical structure of a new drug, AI can predict if it might cause harmful side effects. It's like AI has studied millions of recipes or drug structures and know which ingredients or chemical parts tend to cause problems, so the AI model can identify potential red flags that might be missed by traditional screening methods. And this helps scientists to focus on the safest drug candidates right from the start, saving time and money, and potentially making the whole process of creating new medicines much safer. Use case number six is adverse event monitoring. So the AI learns by looking at lots of reports about medicine side effects, kind of like reading thousands of product reviews, but for medicines. As it reads more and more reports, it gets better at spotting patterns. Now here is the cool part. AI can spot things that seems off or unusual. It's like you having your friend watching a busy street and he notices when something doesn't look quite right. Maybe there is a pattern of people getting headaches after taking certain medication, or they are feeling dizzy at specific times, so here the AI raises its hand and say, hey, you might want to look closer at this. And we can call this anomaly detection, which is fancy word for finding things that don't fit like the normal pattern. Use case number seven, predictive modeling for clinical trials. In this use case, AI can look at tons of patients' data and help you pick the people that most likely to benefit from a new drug. AI can also predict how patients might respond to the treatment. And in such a way, they are helping researchers to adjust the trial as it goes along, like having a GPS, for example, that can reroute you in real time if it seems a traffic ahead. We have the last two use cases here in our video, which is topic modeling and clustering. They are both interrelated together. Think of it like you have your AI has two superpowers, the hook sorting superpower and the connect the dots superpower. So if we imagine that all information out there about medicines are like a giant messy library. So our AI library man using its hook sorting superpower or topic modeling to zoom through millions of books, scientific papers, social media posts, clinical reports in seconds. As it read this through all these resources, it started to see patterns like, oh, these books are all talking about heart medicine, or wow, we have lots of people are posting about feeling tired after taking certain medication. So it's like AI is creating neat piles of books on different topics, helping us see the big picture of what is important or trending. So our AI library man doesn't just sort books, it can look at lots of information and see how they are connected. And that's what AI does with things like gene information, chemical structures, or patient data using its connect the dot superpower or clustering. And this definitely helps scientists to spot patterns they might never have seen otherwise. And in this table, you will find the most popular AI model tools used for drug discovery with a brief description about each one of them. So the benefits of these technologies or tool is not just making medicine faster and cheaper, we are making them smarter and more personalized too. Speaking about personalization, so personalized medicine is the really exciting part here. AI is helping to create custom fit medicines, kind of like how you might design your own sneakers online, it looks at your unique genetic information or the fingerprint to help make medicine that work best for you. However, our AI superhero isn't perfect. It has got a few kryptonite issues to deal with, like for example, data quality and bias. AI is like a super smart kid who learns from what it eats, which is the data. If we feed it junk food or bad data, it will give us junk answers. So we need to make sure it gets a balanced diet of good, diverse information to grow up strong and make smarter decisions. Interpretability and explainability. So many AI models, especially deep learning systems, function as black boxes 
boxes of securing their decision making process like your friends who always know the best route to take but cannot tell you why and that's tricky when we need to explain our choices to the medicine police or what's called the regulatory authorities so we have also another regulatory challenges the folks who make sure medicines are safe like the FDA or any other regulatory body are still figuring out how to deal with our AI body it's like trying to write rules for a new sport while the game is still being invented they want to make sure AI plays fair and safe but also don't want to slow down in all the cool stuff it is currently doing another challenge is the workflow integration where implementing AI in drug discovery requires adapting R&D processes this complex integration may disrupt workflows and make it necessary to have adequate staff training so in conclusion AI is not just enhancing drug discovery it's fundamentally changing how we approach the creation of new medicines and as we continue to refine these technologies we are moving closer to a future where drug discovery is faster more cost effective and ultimately more successful in addressing unmet medical conditions so that's all for today deep dive into AI in drug discovery if you found this valuable please consider like and subscribe to the channel to keep yourself updated with more insights into pharmaceutical technology leave your questions and comments below and join us the next time as we explore another topic in pharma thanks for watching and catch you the next video